Hi, this is Virginie from Clan Yogis. Today we will run through a sun salutation for beginners. Before we do that though, we will do a quick warm up so together we can create a nice uh, little morning yoga sequence. So first we will start lying on our backs, onto the mat, with the legs stretched out in front of you, arms alongside the body. Or if you prefer, that's better for your lower back, bending the knees, taking the feet a wee bit wider than the hip width apart. And then from here, we're going to start by taking some long, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Two, three rounds. On the next inhale, we're going to inhale the knees into the chest, giving yourself a big cuddle. And start to gently sway from side to side. And we're going to do some small circles with the knees, keeping the shoulders down and relaxed. Five or six in one direction. Just to warm up the lower back, releasing, bringing a little bit of movement into the spine. And then releasing the feet onto the mat, bringing the right knee in, exhaling out to the right and then down towards your feet, drawing some larger circles with the hips this time. Next to four. Exhale the right foot down, inhaling the left knee in. Same thing again. Four large circles. Opening up the hips. And exhale. Coming up to a seated position. With the legs crossed. From this cross-legged position, inhaling to lengthen through the spine, engaging the navel in to support the spine, exhaling the buttocks down, letting them be heavy to release the tension in the lower back. Chest nice and open, shoulders released back down. We're going to roll the shoulders here, so on the inhale, we're going to inhale and lift them up to the heels. Exhale them out and down. Inhaling back, back through the front. So keep moving with the breath, drawing large circles with the shoulders this time. Let's do two more. And then change direction, inhaling. Exhale forward, inhaling them back. Two more. Placing your left hand to the side, inhaling the right arm up, lengthening through the fingertips. Exhale, bending to the side, reaching, making sure both hips are staying on the mat. Inhaling them back up. Exhaling to the other side, thinking about the length from that point on the outside of the, the hip, all the way to the fingertips. Inhaling back up, exhaling back down. Inhale to lengthen through the spine, through the fingertips. Exhale, inhaling again. Exhaling to the other side, keeping the chest nice and open. Inhale to lengthen and exhale. Inhaling back to the middle. Placing the hands behind us, heel of the hands as close to the buttocks as possible, fingertips pointing towards the wall behind you. Inhale, sucking the belly button in again. Exhale, opening up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades at the back, letting the head go if that feels okay. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, taking a gentle fold forward, keeping the length in the spine, sending the collarbones 
Sending the tailbone and the crown of the head away from each other. Keeping the neck in line with the rest of the spine, just looking at the floor. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale using the core muscles to get the chest down. Keeping the shoulders away from the heels. One more breath here. And inhale, coming back up. That's our warm-up done. Let's go on to the sun salutations next. So for the sun salutations, we're going to stand at the front of the mat. Feet together into Tadasana, our first pose. So before we go into it and practice it together, I will do a demonstration for you. So before we move into it, moving with the breath, for the first two rounds, we're going to take our time with it. Um, for the first one, we're probably going to hold each pose um, three to four breaths. And for the next round after that, we will hold it for a couple of breaths. And the last two rounds, we would practice it as it is supposed to be moving with the breath. So standing in Tadasana, Feet together, toes and heels together, making sure your toes are spread nice and wide onto the mat. So you're spreading your weight through the four corners of the feet, feeling a strong connection with the mat, with the ground. Begin by feeling the length in the legs, so feeling the feet lifting through the arches of the feet, strengthening the legs, engaging the thighs, engaging the core so you're dropping the tailbone down. Thinking about the length through the crown of the head again. Chest is nice and open, shoulders are relaxed. Keeping the chin tucked in slightly. And keep a point of focus in front of you, your drishti, your gaze. Placing the hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up with the fingertips, keeping the gaze to the thumbs if that feels okay for the neck. Exhaling the shoulders down, if that's too much for the neck, feel free to come back to a neutral position with the neck here. Inhale, keeping the navel engaged, bringing the bicep alongside the heels. Exhale again. Inhale. Exhale, open up the arms, begin to fold forward at the hips with a flat back coming down into Uttanasana, forward fold. This is the first one, so let's keep a slight bend in the knees to make sure we're not going too deep into the stretch yet. Relaxing the head down, looking at the knees. Think about lengthening the tailbone up and the crown of the head down, using the core muscles, the abs, to bring the chest closer to the thigh. At this point here, if you're not quite reaching down, remember you've got the blocks that you can use underneath the hands. Or if you wish, place the hands onto the shins. Whatever feels better for you, making sure you're keeping that length in the spine. Deep exhale again. Inhale, stepping back with the left foot. Sending the left heel away, feeling the stretch in the front of the left thigh into a low lunge. Keep your gaze about a foot in front of you so your neck is in line with the rest of the spine. If this is not attainable for you yet, remember again, we've got the blocks underneath the hands to help us create space and keeping that alignment. Deep inhale again. 
Exhale, stepping back with that right foot. Feet up with a part, sending the hips up into our first down dog. Exhale to send the heels down towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen the tailbone up. And then on exhale again, using the core muscles to get the chest closer to the thighs. Keeping the fingertips nice and wide. One more inhale here. One more exhale. Next inhale, bracing the core. We're moving the chest forward into plank pose. Realigning the rest, the elbows and the shoulders into a nice straight line. Here, if we need to, we can put the knees down, making sure we're keeping the nice straight line from the shoulders to the point touching the mat. Keeping the core engaged. Neck in line with the rest of the spine. Another deep inhale here. And on next exhale, if you're not already there, dropping the knees down and the bum back onto the heels, forehead to the mat, into extended balasana, extended child's pose. Restorative pose. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more. On the next inhale, we're bracing the core again, moving the chest forward again, all the way forward this time, connecting the hips with the mat, untuck the toes, top of the feet onto the mat, pushing the mat away gently into baby cobra. The elbows are into the ribs, well lengthening through the front of the chest, pushing the pubic bone onto the mat to protect the lower back, keep that navel in, engaged. Shoulders away from the heels. Other options here as well is to have the forearms onto the floor and the mat as sphinx. Deep inhale. Exhale, tucking the toes under, bracing the core again, sending the hips all the way up into down dog. Inhale to lengthen the tailbone up. Exhale, the heels down, using the core to get the chest closer to the thighs. One more inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale, stepping forward with the right foot back into that low lunge. Now remember here, you're more than welcome to step to the side, grabbing the ankle and bringing it forward if that's what you need to do. Exhale to push the left heel away. Deep inhale here again. Exhale, stepping both feet together back to the front of the mat into Uttanasana, forward fold. Lengthen on the inhale, tailbone up. Cram the head down, using the core muscles to get the chest closer down. And inhale, coming back up, flat back, arms open. Gaze to the thumbs and to extend the Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, shoulders down. Keeping the core engaged. And exhale, the hands down to the center of the chest. Moving a little bit faster this time. Inhaling, reaching up, lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, moving forward, folding forward. Open the arms flat back into Uttanasana again. Remember your block. Or your hands onto the shin. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, squeeze the core. Inhale, stepping back with the right foot this time into low lunge. Exhale, send the right heel away towards the wall behind you. Inhale. Exhale, stepping back, both feet up with apart. Hips up into down dog. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, the heels down. Inhale, sending the chest forward into plank. Let's see if we can have that plank. If not, remember the knees come down. Inhale here again. Exhale, the knees down. Bum back, forehead to the mat. Extended balasana. Next inhale, moving forward again with the chest, all the way forward. Squeeze the core. Connect the hips, untuck the toes, push the mat away. Inhale, exhale, tuck the toes under, brace the core, sending the hips back up. 
into down dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale, rolling the shoulders away from the heels. Inhale, stepping forward with the left foot. Remember to grab the ankle if you need to. Exhale, pushing the right heel away. Inhale. Exhale, both feet to the front of the mat. Squeezing the core into Uttanasana. Inhale, coming back up. Flat back, arms open. Exhale, back down to the center of the chest. Moving with the breath this time. Inhaling, reach all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Uttanasana, let the head drop back. Inhale, stepping back with the left foot. Exhale, both feet back. Hips up into down dog. Inhale, moving forward with the chest into plank. Squeeze the core, squeeze the thighs. Exhale, the knees down, the bum back, forehead to the mat. Inhale, forward again, all the way forward. Connect the hips, untuck the toes, push the mat away, lengthen through the front of the chest, pushing the pubic bone down. Exhale, tuck the toes, brace the core. Exhale, the heels down. Inhale, stepping forward with the right foot. Exhale, both feet together at the front of the mat. Uttanasana. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open wide, folding forward. Inhale, stepping back with the right foot this time. Exhale, both feet back, hip width apart into down dog, hips all the way up. Inhaling, moving forward with the chest and plank. Exhale, the knees down, the bum back into child's pose. Inhale, moving forward again with the chest, squeeze that belly button and untuck the toes, connect the hips, push the pubic bone down, lengthen the arms. Exhale, push back into down dog again. Inhaling the left foot forward. Exhale, both feet together at the front of the mat. Inhaling, coming back up. Exhaling back to the center of the chest. Back into Tadasana and Mountain Pose. Reconnect with that point of focus you had at the start. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's take another four to five breaths. Lengthening through the legs, feeling the ground beneath the feet. And exhale the hands down. And that's us. I hope you've enjoyed the sun salutations for beginners. So now on to wishing you a very nice day and namaste.